today we've got a new edition of the Spring Report and it is the Callaway 2024 Apex Utility Wood. The previous version was one of the most versatile and one of our favorites among the fitters here. And today we've got the newest version. Michael's gonna hit some shots out here on the driving range. We'll show you guys all the data and tell you everything you need to know. Golfers, make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel and you like this video for more content like this coming soon. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahol, the second swing golf, joined today by Michael Geiger out here on the driving range at Les Bolsted on a hot and humid summer day here in Minnesota. But uh, it's still a good day because we have the utility wood from Callaway, the newest version. Um, it was kind of like a, a brand new design when it was the, the first iteration was released. Nobody really knew what to think of it, um, but once you put it to the test, it really delivered. I mean, there was it really does give you the distance of a fairy wood, but it also has the shape of still a hybrid. So it was a fan favorite among many. It's a favorite among our fitters too. You yeah. know, fitters love having as many tools in the toolbox as, as possible. And this is, you know, I was sitting here looking at it, trying to think, okay, I know it's utility wood. It's kind of between a hybrid and a fairy wood, but really it's, it can't help but kind of veer towards one of those two. It really is to my eye, 50% fairway wood, 50% hybrid. Yeah. It's it's right in that gap that players who either kind of struggle with hybrids or aren't ready, you know, that fairway woods aren't always the most confidence inspiring yeah. profiles. It's it's a great option for those right. golfers. And it, I, it really, like you said, it has the best of both worlds because I think a lot of times the the forgiveness of a high lofted fairway wood is definitely um, yearned for in the bag for a lot of players, right? They get up to maybe a three iron or a four iron yep. and they realize I, I need something a little bit more than that launch wise, but maybe get a little too much spin with a seven wood, let's say. Sure. That's where something like this can come in. It's right in between a hybrid and a fairy wood, um, and it gives you the stability there, but also a ton of pop. And so I think that's what I'm really intrigued by here today is to see, I know you can swing the club a little bit. I wanna see how, how much speed and how much distance you can put on this thing. Well, we'll see, but yes, it's, it's an excellent profile, beautiful to look at, and, uh, you know, we'll hit some off the tee, we'll hit some off the deck, and uh, we'll see what the numbers bear out. You ready to do this? Let's do it. Mr. Geiger, the Apex Utility Wood here. Yes. Um, first, as we always do, let's talk about that look at a dress. Um, from here, one thing that catches my eye is there's no alignment aid on the top of the crown there. No, no, it's a very, uh, very clean look, very, simple sounds like sort of a backhanded compliment, but I really, I mean it as a compliment. I think, uh, you know, there's a lot of players who, there's so many clubs that have so many different colors and, and, and you know, visual, you might even call them distraction. This is just, a, it's a no nonsense design and uh, it's just really solid to yeah. look at. Yeah, definitely. It looks very clean from here too. So I, I def definitely see what you mean there. All right, so I've got the full swing launch yeah. monitor app, and it, I have the five wood selected because it doesn't actually give you the option for a utility wood. So okay. five wood is the closest thing that we got. So, ooh, that one was tattooed. So we're starting off the deck here. Yep. Um, I mean that one was pretty clean right there. Yeah. You carried it two forty seven with thirty five hundred spin. Okay, that's pretty darn good. A one four seven smash factor, also very good. Solid. A little push. Just a little bit. Struck solid though? Solid. Lowercase s. Okay. <laughs> Lowercase s. Yeah, a little bit different. 145 smash versus 147. Still very good though. Um, now, this is a 19 degree, again, hybrid fairy wood. You know, mm -hmm. it's a mix of those. Um, in your bag, do you have, what do you have? comparatively to something like this. You have a five wood, you have a, a So I actually, iron. I go three iron into a 16 and a half degree kind of four wood. Okay, okay. Um, so, so you don't really have anything like this in your bag. I don't. I was gonna kind of ask if you have a, a gauge on numbers you would expect from it. But. I, I would normally, I used to have a five wood and okay. I would say it was 18 degrees and it was right around 250. For total? So that, for total. Okay. So the numbers you're spitting for, for yeah. one degree more yeah. are, are right sure, in that Sure, sure, yeah. Yeah, Other again, ones. just a little push, but yeah, a little push, but that still went and uh, it carried 237, probably just shy of 250 total. Yeah, uh, we're getting an, enough spin where there's actually plenty of stopping power here. Yeah, you're going to be over 4,000 average right now, so um, which is I think a lot of and I know you spin the ball a lot, yeah, already, but yes, at this top part of the bag, anything really in the 3000s is going to give you enough stopping power if you have the speed to hit it as high as you do, right? Oh, yeah. That's a fun flight to watch right there. 
One four eight smash. Ooh, okay. You caught you caught that one that right was, on the center, didn't that you? That was nice. Two fifty six carry. Yeah, that's a little more representative. Yep. Two seventy total. That's pretty good. That that's some pop. Two seventy will work. Yep. A little pull. That'll probably the distance will be. I would think pretty. I bet the total might be farther though because probably. of that draw. Probably. Yep. 259 on the carry, 276 total with a 19 degree club. That is some hey. speed, that is some distance. So average now on those five, all off the deck, mind you, we're gonna go hit maybe a few off the tee here, yep. so that might even increase it, but you average 247 carry, you average 264 total, you average 4241 spin. So that's still plenty of spin to sure. stop the ball if you need to, if you're going, you know, approaching a par five into, yep. um, Smash Factor average is 1.47. So, I mean, that's pretty darn good stuff right there. And yeah. your, your average height peak uh, was 95 feet. A couple of times you got over 100. That's right. I mean, what else at. are you looking for out of a club I, like I, this? I don't know. I, I, what's the price again? <laughs> yeah. um, all right. So let's hit maybe, let's go three good ones off the tee here. Yeah. And then we'll see comparatively, you know, if there's a big difference between the two or there's not. So let's do it. Wow. I think that's got to be the highest ball flight so that far. That was definitely. Which is going to happen off the tee. 149 smash, <clears throat> 262 carry, but 272 total. Okay. Because you had 44 or 60 spin on it. That's, that's pretty great. And your height was 114. So that's definitely the highest in terms of the peak height so far. So we're trying to get to 280, folks. 280 total. <laughs> Michael said it before he swung there. If we could hit a little bit more of a draw here, I know yeah. I'm asking a lot of you. All but. right. Ooh, there's the draw. Guy knows how to swing a club. Ball speed of 164 there. Just a little bit more spin though. Dropped it down uh, yeah. distance wise. 255 Probably carry, 265 a, total. Was that a little bit spin. low on the face? Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Still though, for being a little bit low on the face to still hit it 265 oh is pretty darn good. Really solid. Again, I, a, a comparable club for me. It was usually in the 250 range. So. So high. High, not quite turning over. I'm, no. curious, I'm curious to see the difference between the carry and total on this one. Seems yeah. like that would stop that, at that, nine. That probably five or six yards yep. of roll. 252 to, or carry, excuse me, 267 total. Okay. Um, so the spin on those three shots all was in the 4,000s range. Um, if I take a look here at the spin rate. You had 4460, you had 4651 and 4958. Okay. So it's actually funny. I would have expected maybe the spin to decrease you're going off the tee because then you're able to kind of hit up on it. Maybe you hit up higher on the face, but your spin actually stayed in a pretty darn good window there. Yeah. Um, and then of course, as we saw with that, that draw a couple of times, you can still chase it out there far enough if you need sure. to. Sure. No, I think you saw off the, you know, off the deck, it still produces that hybrid like dispersion. Yeah. But off the tee, you can, you can kind of swing up on a little bit and get that 10, 15 more yards that you want. You right. Know, down a, a tight par four. Yeah. I think it's, it's, I think there's a lot of players out there that see the shape of a hybrid or they've used hybrids before and there's this sort of notion that they they don't they're not confident with them. They yep. they feel like it's gonna go all over the place. Yeah. And I think you get a shape here that inspires confidence in the sense that it is bigger than a hybrid. Plays like a fairy wood in, in a lot of senses, but there's still enough control there, kinda like a hybrid, where you can hit that ball with plenty of spin and stopping power. Yeah. But still, I mean the the distance and the speed on that is tremendous. Personally for me, I've I've never really hybrids and me we, we don't get along great yeah I, I always feel like i hit them left i felt total confidence to swing hard yeah. at this thing so i really the, that little bit of woodness to it sure it, uh really uh boosts the confidence yeah. of, of a player i mean it's game. funny that you mentioned the the, dis, the your kind of tendency to go left so your your dispersion here is pretty darn good you had that draw working and yeah. you know six of the eight shots were a little bit left of it but i mean you can see here as i show you i know i'm kind of yeah zoomed out but I mean they're all bunched together really nice out there it's not like you're hooking them no. over and you, even when you did play that draw it wasn't like you're losing it left and so I think that's a big thing is you just get consistency and reliability with a club like this and then also of course as we talked about the speed is unreal it's a uh, little jaw dropping to yeah. hit you know mid 270s total uh is two clubs longer than, right. than I'm used to with with an 18 19 degree and head I have I mean the previous model you know when Thomas Campbell was with us he was using that as actually his three wood right. so to see the possibilities with that as we're golfers out there too that is to use this club as your three wood it has enough distance it has enough stopping power a lot of potential with this club it, all the more reason to talk to a second swing fitter because there's so many uh, with a club like this 
there's so many different options and, and, yep. and you know permutations that a, a second swing fitter can do to really optimize your bag. And maybe that means doing something that you think is a little crazy, like taking out a three wood. Right. But with a club like this, you know, it might end up benefiting the golfer. All right, Mr. Geiger, testing complete there. The Apex Utility Wood, the 2024 Apex Pro Series Edition. Very good numbers. I saw a ton of speed, both, well, you swung the club really fast, but you also delivered on the shots and the spin it generated as well. I mean, it's it's a very versatile club. Off the tee, off the deck, draw fade. This, this club really did it all today. I was, yeah. I was super impressed. You have really the best of both worlds. You, you have the kind of workability and dispersion of a hybrid. You have kind of the, the, the larger confidence inspiring profile and, and distance of a fairway wood. Uh, really, it's it's a club that is for, a, a, you know, we always it's, try to try to dial in right, exactly who it's for. I, I could see so many different types of players, really from kind of the uh, the, the, the handicap in the teens all the way right. on down. Oh yeah, it, it, that's the nice thing about it. Versatility, it can apply to basically any type of golfer out there. Mm -hmm. So um, it's gonna be a great option in the fitting bay this year and beyond. So golfers, make sure you schedule that fitting. Apex Utility Wood, uh, get with one of our fitters and they'll tell you where it fits in the bag for you best and you will get some performance benefits from this club. So, Michael, thanks for stopping by, hitting some shots, uh, enduring the heat here, right? Uh, enduring the heat, that was, uh, it was a pretty good display. Thank you.